what goes on guys we're back here again with yet another review and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new marvel selects diamond select mr fantastic now i've honestly been loving what diamond select has been doing recently with their diamond select line and their marvel select figures because they are just killing it when it comes to accessories and showcasing the hero's power set and this is no exception now mr fantastic um is one of those weird characters where you can kind of have him in any size and it will work you can see on the back there's a little bit of a read up there and then just some renders of the figure but you know you know the diamond select packaging they've had the same packaging since before i was even collecting they've had this packaging forever but I really like that you can get this Mr. Fantastic because it fits with the Marvel Legends in terms of costume design, and it doesn't really matter what size he is because once you put all the power effects on him, he's going to be bigger than the rest. So I saw him in person, and I had to pick him up. So without further ado, let's hop into this guy and see what he's all about. In getting Reed Richards out of the packaging... This is a really fun figure. It's so awesome to finally have a Mr. Fantastic that showcases, you know, him being fantastic in terms of showing his power set, as I just feel like that's something that Marvel Legends tend to lack a lot, is going character-specific accessories to show off what that hero can do. And this is a really, really good prime example of how to do that correctly. So we're gonna take a look at the core figure and then I'm gonna show you all the interchangeable pieces and all the amazing options that you have when you purchase this figure because it's pretty damn awesome. So taking a look at the head sculpt up here, I love it. Unfortunately, I got a little chip on the chin and the nose. Let me see if I can clean that up. But either way, it looks great. I love this like stoic look for him. Of course, he's got the iconic gray sided hair looking fantastic and then no pun intended and then you do go into the body and the body looks fantastic as well i really really like that they put that blue shading in there so it's not flat again marvel legends tends to just not do that and it's a shame that they don't because this is it looks so much nicer um the joints are sculpted pretty well it would be nice if he was pinless but then again i mean he's only got one pin on each of the arms and the legs are pinless which is nice and then you do get like this nice matte finish overall the four is painted pretty crisp i wouldn't say that that's perfect but that's okay um but yeah he looks phenomenal and i just think even if you just wanted to leave him like this on the shelf He's a little bit taller, as we'll see with scaling. I mean, I'll go ahead and pull out a standard Marvel Legend now just for showing. He is a little bit taller, but I mean, again, Mr. Fantastic is one of those characters that he can get away with being taller. First of all, I always picture him as being tall anyway, like just as a regular dude. But once you pose him up, like say you have somebody like this, just do like a little slight posing, right? And then even if you want them just like this, right, pose them up. They don't look out of scale anymore, at least not in my opinion. They don't look like they're from the same line, but that's just because Darwin is so much less quality than this. But yeah, I think that he looks fantastic. I love the way that they sculpted him. I love the way that they painted him. They really did an excellent job at making Reed look as awesome as he does. When it comes to accessories, this guy is jam-packed. So we'll start with the smaller stuff and work our way up to the bigger stuff. And then I'm going to show you how everything works when using them for this figure. So you do get three interchangeable hands. You get a grip hand, kind of like a trigger finger hand. I don't really know how useful that'll be. You get another trigger finger-esque hand. Again, I don't know how true that'll be for each side, which is nice. And then you get like just kind of like a flat palm hand. Very nice. You get these two hands, kind of like a gesture hand. And then, like, I think this is for the ultimate nullifier, which you do get. The deadliest weapon in the universe. Looks good. There's not much to it. Just silver paint. I'm pretty sure this, like, is supposed to go like that. Which I like that. That looks good. But then you get to the fun shit. So, 
starting off. Unfortunately, there's nothing for his legs. I would have liked extended legs. Hopefully, what would have been really cool is if he popped off at the shin like he does for the gloves, which we'll see in a second, and you could have like longer legs. That would have been really, really cool, but um, even what he got is great because it, the one thing is so unique I've never seen on for Miss Fantastic. So starting off small, what you're gonna wanna do is pop him off at the waist and pop him off at the torso. So he'll be in three separate pieces. Then you're gonna bring in this bad boy. Make sure it's the right way. Um, know your muscle groups. Sometimes it takes a little bit of force to get in there, but not too bad. And then you pop that on, and now he's long torso boy, Reed Richards. I love that. That looks great. But if that doesn't float it, you need more powers. I get it, I get it. You pop them off at the forearms for the gloves, right? And you pop on these extended hands. You got a open hand and a fisted hand. And they look fantastic. I keep saying fantastic, not intentionally, but they look amazing. Like this, with the addition of one thing, is probably how I'm going to have them on the shelf. That looks so good. I've never seen a Mr. Fantastic with that much cool of an accessory. Man, that looks so good. And then... If you want more power set, you pop them off at the base of the neck. Keep that in mind, the base of the neck. You pop this in. You can line it up or not. I think it's supposed to go right there. And then pop this up here. And boom. <laughs> Man, this makes me very happy. Mr. Fantastic is my favorite member of the Fantastic Four. So getting a really cool figure of him showing off what he can do is awesome to me. I really, really like that. But if this doesn't float your boat, you can get even more with this huge interchangeable leg piece in the shape of a big base that he can wrap around people. And this is completely hollow. The paint is very good on it just a little bit for you guys the paint is very very good on it and what you do let's get our victim here zombie cap you could put him in there as if he's getting wrapped by mr fantastic look at how awesome that is that is so so freaking cool can have reed pose down Rift up his arm like he's gonna punch the shit out of him, right? So awesome. Like, this is such a great idea. I personally, and there's like great paint detail on this, by the way, but I personally would have liked stretchy legs, like extended legs. Maybe one day they'll do like a version two with all different extended parts and pieces. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I will get it. <laughs> if if it's you know, even if it's like an, I have to buy a whole nother Mr. Fantastic. For 30 bucks, you cannot go wrong on something like this. Um, yeah, so the only D factor to the accessories, in my opinion, is I would have liked them to be bendy because I kind of find myself wanting to go like this or like with the fist, like you know, kind of bringing it up, but they are not bendy, so don't push them too hard, don't be stupid like me. Um, but yeah, I just can't get over how awesome this is, like this right here is Mr. Fantastic, in my opinion. I just can't fathom how good this looks with all the accessories. I'm very, very happy about it. Now, in terms of its articulation, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with some of the parts on there. Obviously, there's not gonna be any articulation in this. This has no articulation. And the neck is just gonna be a swivel at the head um, with the ball joint, which we'll show the range there in a second, and then swivel at the base of the neck, and all the wrists swivel and hinge on the regular hands. But taking a look at the head articulation, the head is on a ball, double ball peg. It's all around. I like the way that that looks. Get good pivot back and forth. There you go. Go look up and down. Not great, but good enough. Shoulders go out that far, they go down, they rotate 360, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow that does also rotate, and then it'll rotate at the, where the glove comes off. So you can rotate the fists, or like the long extended hands, all that good stuff. You do get a double ball joint at the torso, upper torso, which will also rotate. I wish there was more range, um, it's not the end of the world. Again, it's not that big a deal. And then it's waist swivel. The hips go outwards, like 
past splits, which he can get as flexible as you want with him. You know, he's Mr. Fantastic. Kick forward pretty far back. Upper thigh cut. Single jointed knee. I would have liked a boot calf rotation because it would have been nice in the future to get these kinds of interchangeable pieces for his feet. And then the ankles go down, up, and pivot. So he's not really going to have any problem standing. His ankles are very good. He's got larger feet. Um, and despite having big accessories, they're not super heavy. So, like, I say that as he's leaning forward, but I don't have them fully planted um yeah i just think that he will definitely be able to pose in the positions that you want him to because he's one of the again one of those weird characters while he's not super acrobatic necessarily there's really no limit to what his body can do because you know he's mr fantastic right when it comes to scale again like i said earlier mr fantastic is one of those characters where doesn't really matter kind of what scale you put him in as you know he can kind of be any size so here he is next to the Jazzwares Fortnite series Peely and then the NECA Kong the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Dark Knight Returns Batman and the Hasbro Marvel Legends Darwin and then of course here he is next to Zombie Cap so again he's a little bit taller for sure so if you just have them your figures lined up next to each other side by side He's going to look a little big, but, I mean, you get him posed up, you use some of his accessories, I think all that becomes arbitrary, and he looks great with your Marvel Legends. So, with all that being said, I know that there are some of you out there who are still wondering, yo, Ant, what are your final thoughts on this figure? And I gotta say, I couldn't be much happier with him. I mean, he is damn near close to the perfect Mr. Fantastic. And even if he's not the perfect Mr. Fantastic, he's pretty damn close to it and is miles better than the Marvel Legends one. I mean, the Marvel Legends one only had the extended arms and even they were not, uh, they were okay. So, um, a couple things that I wish were done a little bit better. I kind of, I love this. But I think extra long legs would have been cooler for me personally. Like if we got like ankle pivot and like long extended legs, I think that would have been super cool. Even if it was at the thigh or the shin or even both, that would have been really cool. Um, but then I also think that the arms and neck could have been bendy just to make it a little bit uh, more dynamic. But other than that, he's damn near perfect when it comes to paint and sculpt. I love both of those things. I love the head sculpt, and I love the variety that you can make with this figure, as you don't really see that too often with our superhero figures these days. Characters being able to showcase their unique power that makes them a superhero. So with all that being said, at a price point of $29.99, which is just nuts to me that Diamond Select, knock on wood, to this day has still not improved or increased their prices, but improves the quality of their figures. I got to give this guy a good 8 out of 10. But that's just me. I would love to know what you guys think. So with that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. If you've not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot over there and I have a lot of fun and I'm sure you will all too. But as always, let me know. You copping? I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Walk us on, guys. I wanted to hop on here again and thank you all for watching and to let you know that if the following apps interest you, feel free to follow me on them as I put the links in the description for you guys. I really appreciate everything you all do for me, so DM me with any questions or thoughts. I'd love to sit and talk with you all. Again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.